I found it another trick to reduce flickering and input delay while using lossless gain frame generation. Let's take a quick look at how it's work. Now go to the lossless scaling tool. Make sure select fixed mode. Now instead of using a high multiplier like 2x, 3x or 4x, we are going to try a slightly lower value, something like 1.65 or 1.5. Normally some of use 2x or higher to double the frame rate, but here the trick. Using slightly lower multiplier can already gives smoother gameplay and help reduce flickering and input delay. For example, if your game run at a base frame rate of 40 or 45 fps, a 2x multiplier will try to double that, showing 80 or 90 fps. But with 1.65 or 1.5x, it aims around 65 to 75 or 80 fps instead and that gives a much better balance between smoothness and stabilities. From my experience, this method works really well in Red Dead Redemption 2. The delay and flickering are more reduced than using 2x multiplier. But in heavier game like Cyberpunk 2077, while the performance improve, you might still notice some minor ghosting or delay, especially with the higher multiplier like 2x or 3x. I will show you 4 different games. You will see gameplay with 1.65 multipliers, so you can decide which one suit for your setup the best.
So in the end, using a fixed multiplier like 1.65 won't boost your FPS as high as 2x, but it can seriously help reduce flickering and delay, which makes the gameplay feel much smoother. Try it out and see what works best for your game. If this tutorial helped you, leave a like and maybe share it with your gaming buddies. And if you're new here, Feel free to subscribe to the channel and join with my win win tips community. Alright, I will catch you in the next one. Until then, have a great day.